Dealey, and welcome to Something Edible. Even if you can't garden, I bet you can still grow mint. This stuff comes up everywhere. It's darn near a noxious weed. And when I have mint, I'm immediately thinking of cocktails, you know, mo mojitos or mint juleps or, you know, anything with that good top shelf liquor that uh, you can combine with mint to get something really cool and refreshing. But sometimes you don't have the top shelf stuff. Sometimes all you got is just your everyday run of the mill bourbon. And for those, I like to do a whiskey smash. You're talking about mint, you're talking about citrus, and you can use any bourbon that you'd use for any other well cocktail. But to make a whiskey smash, you need to start with just a few little do-aheads. And the first thing you need to make a whiskey smash is simple syrup. So we're gonna make some simple syrup, and then we're gonna throw that into our whiskey smash. So let's get over to the stove and get to smashing. Well, they call this simple syrup for a reason. All you really need to make simple syrup is equal parts sugar, and I'm using a cup here, and uh, water, and that's a cup of water. And I like to use filtered water here, just, just because then you don't have to worry about floaties or any sort of off flavors or anything. And so you're gonna bring this together over medium heat and uh, you know, give it a stir every once in a while to make sure that nothing's gonna stick to the bottom. And you do this over medium to make sure that uh, you don't end up burning stuff when you walk away from the stove. So uh, this is, as we, uh, as we stir this occasionally, it's gonna start to clear up. And by the time it starts to come to just a boil, this stuff's gonna be clear and it's gonna be ready to go. All right, so now we're up to a boil, uh, just up to a boil, and, uh, and uh, as you can see here, this is really cleared up. This is, this is a good thing. And usually I'll let this run just a little bit uh, longer, about five minutes or so, uh, past a gentle boil like this to make sure that uh, uh, all the sugars have broken down into the water. And it kind of keeps, uh, I think it keeps things from crystallizing later down the road. So this is done. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill the heat and you let this cool before you go bottling it because otherwise you're gonna have a hot sticky mess and hot sugar is some dangerous stuff. So make sure you let this, this uh, cool and after that, then you can put it in a bottle and uh, keep it in your fridge and every time you wanna make a drink then you will have plenty of simple syrup to make it. So here we are, we're, we've got cooled and ready simple syrup. Um, now we're ready to shake, and in order to shake, you need a good shaker. Um, you can't make a whiskey smash without one of these metal shakers. Don't use glass, don't use plastic. Uh, the thermal properties of this thing are gonna allow that ice to melt and meld with the uh, bourbon and the other flavors in there, so metal shaker, gotta use it. So to smash, we're gonna need uh, half a lemon. And uh, the best way to uh, juice a lemon is one of these uh, metal, these are aluminum enamel uh, metal uh, juicers. They work great. They get everything out of there. So I'm just gonna juice like right into the strainer and the shaker. Okay, and the nice thing about this is when you're done, you get this uh, corpse of a, uh, a lemon. We're just gonna throw that right in there you want those essential oils coming out of there as well. You're also going to need some mint. I'm going to use about 12 leaves here. You know, and you can put the stems in there too if you want to. There's, there's uh, oils in those stems and uh, that's only going to add to the flavor of the finished drink. So there's that. We've got our, uh, our uh, simple syrup. I've got a uh, one fluid ounce of that. That's a shot. Simple syrup goes in there. Now for the good stuff. We got uh, two ounces of, uh, of bourbon whiskey. I got this cool pourer on there that uh, lets you measure one shot exactly when you tip it over. It's pretty neat. All right, so in order to really get things moving, we need ice. We need enough ice to fill this thing up two thirds. And you notice I'm putting the ice on top because we wanna use the weight of the ice to really beat the crud out of uh, everything else in there. Uh, if you put the ice on the bottom, you're not gonna get an effective smash. So put that ice uh, right there on the top and then uh, lit up and now we smash. 
Now you're going to shake the crud out of this thing. You're going to shake this till your hands hurt. Um, this is going to get really cold on the outside. I mean frigid, like your fingers almost stick to it, and that's how you know you're doing it right. So it's about to get really noisy for just a little bit. Okay, that's cold. All right, now we're ready to pour. All right, see how cold this is? You're not gonna get that out of a glass or a plastic uh, shaker. This is why you gotta smash with a metal shaker. So we're gonna pour this, and if you did it right, what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna get all these nice little minty bits falling out over the ice along with uh, what you poured. Make sure you keep your finger on there. You don't want the whole uh, thing falling off because sometimes that that uh, lemon will uh, hold some some of your uh, drink back. So you want to make sure that you get it all all in that glass. I mean, look at that. It just look, kind of looks like spring. You got yellows, you got greens, and uh, you just know it's going to be refreshing when you drink it. All right, that's plenty. And then uh, you want to add a garnish, a little lemon. Of course, mint. Always bruise your mint just a little bit before you stick it there so that you got a little nose of that. That's it. It's time to drink this thing. Oh, yeah, that's that's the stuff right there. Let's see how this tastes. First thing that hits you, it's a little bit sweet, and then you get, uh, you get that hint of mint in there. You can smell it as you're tasting the sweet, and then it doesn't get too sweet because you've got uh, that lemon that uh, that tempers the sweet but you've also got the bourbon in there and uh, the bourbon kind of acts as the uh, as the base to the whole thing and you can you know you couldn't make this drink if you didn't have the bourbon in there but uh, man on a hot day these things go down easy maybe even a little bit too easy oh that's good i'm gonna i'm gonna finish this one if you want to smash your own you can check out uh, the recipe over at uh, hayes daily news or at, uh, on my website, somethingedible.com. And, uh, you know, if you got questions about this or anything else that I'm cooking up or drinking, then uh, you can hit me up on uh, Facebook or Twitter. So, uh, cheers.